excited to be here tonight, you know, to uh, honor legends, uh, Grandmaster Cass, Betty Bell, uh, Joe Console, who took the uh, birth pictures of hip hop. So excited to be here tonight in the Bronx, in the borough of hip hop, the birthplace of hip hop. Uh, very exciting. Um, wishing you all a prosperous 2016, and uh, we've got a lot of projects coming up, a lot of collaborative projects, so uh, keep to it. We have all the legends of hip hop here. What's up, everybody? This is MC Spoony G. Um, I'm here to support, as you can see, the windows of hip hop at the Element Awards today. Um, I am, I don't know if y'all know it, but I'm the first rap solo artist in the wide world. And my man, Rocky Silver here, just reminded me, and he said, You really need to let the people know. So, I am. You know what it is. This is your boy Rodney C. One half of the original Double Trouble, featured in the first hip hop break dance and graffiti movie ever created. And it was called Wild Style. Sure. Considered the Bible of rap, opened the doors for all the movies and things going on today. In addition to that, I'm also one fifth member of the Funky Four, plus one more, and the Funky Four plus one. Peace. This is Council Member Vanessa Gibson of the 16th District, and I'm here at Salsa Caterers celebrating Windows of Hip Hop, Hip Hop Pioneers of the Bronx, hosted by Bronx Ball player Rio Diaz Jr. We are truly grateful that the birth of hip hop came from the Boogie Down Bronx. We're thankful that we have so many trailblazers that gave to our community to make the Bronx better. We're going to continue to make sure that we focus on hip hop as a culture, as a way of life, as a lifestyle, to make sure that our young people recognize the history and where hip-hop started. Yo, what's up? This is Chief 69, the University of the Nation, Bronx Boys Rocking Crew, here at the Windows of Hip Hop uh, event, honoring the hip-hop pioneers. I brought some of my illustration boards and canvases, showing that Bronx, B-Boy, Moigua flavor, always got to represent for the origins and the foundation. And to Melissa, and all of the good folks from the Windows of Hip Hop, I want to thank you for having this, this first ever Elements of Hip Hop uh, Awards. I want to say that it's important to continue to show the world that while hip hop is global, that the birthplace is right here in the Boogie Down, right? So, the, it's called, ladies and gentlemen, it's called the Elements of Hip Hop. And hip hop means a lot to a lot of people, and hip-hop means a lot to me. It means a lot to me because I remember in the 70s, in the late 70s, whenever uh, the early forms of hip-hop came on, when we were at Didi Dongo's house, and the music came on because her and her husband Johnny were still young and hip, and my parents and my older aunts and uncles did not know what was going on, they appreciated what was my attempt at breakdancing. <laughs> Fast forward, I remember at 10 years of age, I got a couple of dollars for my birthday, and I went to a record store right next to the Lowe's Theater in Parchester. Many of you remember that? I bought my first record. <coughs> I'm the king of rock. There is none higher, sucker MC, to call me sire. To enter my kingdom, you must use fire. I won't stop rocking till I retire. I remember, I remember seeing uh, folks like Kaz and the Cold Crush Brothers, who were masterful, and he still is, masterful in the words that they chose, masterful in their delivery, masterful in the rap battle, the rap battle. When you look at, uh, a lot of folks think, you know, the Sugar Hill Gang, I'm going to say, they may not say, I'm going to say, the Sugar Hill Gang rode, rode on the tail of individuals like Rap Master Kaz. When you look at and listen to somebody like Run from Run DMC, the delivery comes from the, and it's influenced from Grandmaster Kaz. I'm not, I'm not starting any beef here, but I'm, I have to speak the truth. And, and to see how they would go back and forth with other rap groups and, and, and totally uh, eliminate the competition and do so lyrically with no violence, that did something to me. 
to see that folks like Melly Mel were on, on, on videos and, and showing and speaking as journalists, as journalists, the, 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 the woes and the, and the ills in our community. See, what happens now is that you get folks who think that they're rap artists and they think that they're hip hop artists. One of the things that kills me the most, one of the things that I don't like is how they glorify violence and they glorify negativity. I don't like the glorification of it, but it doesn't mean that we can't speak about it because it's pervasive in many areas of our communities and it still exists and it's still real. When Melly Mel was talking about strikes with MTA services and, and, and the conditions in the school system and broken glass everywhere, and how you had to have certain conversations with your parents and your father. Daddy, I don't want to go to school because the teachers in church must think I'm a fool. <laughs> he spoke to me. Spoke to me. He reported to the world the things that I saw as, as a young boy, as a young man, and what the Bronx was like then. At 12 years old, after so many years of having 69 pro kegs that caused about, I don't know, Joe, $19.99, $24.99. Nah, I went and did the craziest thing to my parents. I said, it is my 12th birthday, and I want a pair of Shell Tour Adidas. <laughs> and the Shell Tour Adidas, I remember this, they were $54.99. Mommy went, went out of her mind when she, when she saw that price. <laughs> But they had a birthday party for me, Kaz, and I came in my fresh shell toy Adidas. And it did something to me. It was about having Adidas and the leaves on my legs, Adidas on my feet. I had the Tiger shirt. I was fresh. <laughs> I, 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 I got, uh, this is to Mikey Valley. I got my, I received my first Walkman. You don't even know what that is. <laughs> Christmas, I got a Walkman. I'm sorry, I'm going through, I'm taking you out through the elements here for a minute. And what it means to me and how it for, I formulated who I am. I got my first Walkman. You know what the first Walkman meant for me? That finally, finally, without bugging anybody else, not only am I listening to the music, but, believe it or not, you don't have this problem. I was able to stop, rewind, write the lyrics down. <laughs> Listen, stop, rewind, write the next sentence down, the next verse, until I knew all of the words of the song. Now they go on, on YouTube, now they go on Google, and all the words are there. That's what the Walkman meant for me. Then I started writing my own rhymes, on and on and on, trying to do this on the freestyle. It used to be wild ever since I was a little child, hanging on the corner. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> then I used to see um, uh, movies like Beach Street. And, and there was a story about a gentleman who was a, an artist, a graffiti artist, Ramon. And I used to like to, you know, do little murals on my, on, remember the notebooks? And my, my tag name was M-O-D. I'm going to tell you what it stands for. <laughs> okay? But I used, to, I used to try to do my little murals in the way that I, that I saw in Wild Style. My cousin in Wild was in Wild Style, Ruby D. Try to break dance. My signature move was the, 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 the suicide. Um, some of you know what the suicide was. I never hurt my back doing it. What I guess what I'm trying to say is when, you, when we're celebrating the elements of hip hop, the true essence of hip hop is that there's some, some things, whether it's music, it's self-lyricism, whether it's DJ, whether it, we have Grand Wizard Theodore, who's an honoree tonight, whether it's the fashion, the haberdashery, whether it's the art of, of, of um, drawing, whether it's uh, just who you are and how you feel in your expression. This is important because for many of us, this, made, this was the foundation of our personalities. This, is, this gave me the fortitude, this gave me the strength. And so tonight we're here to say, to, in twofold, to say to the pioneers that we thank you for creating this global phenomenon called hip hop. But at the same time, that you haven't forgot about the community. At the same time you're out there 
being civic minded. At the same time, you're out there talking to our youth in our schools, in the community, at festivals, at block parties, speaking about good health, speaking about giving back to the community. And so as the borough president, I hope that tonight serves as a model for everyone who's watching, everyone outside of our borders, that we can celebrate hip hop, we will celebrate the pioneers for the true essence of what it was really intended to be. Journalism, art, fashion, happiness, for those individuals who go to parties just to start trouble, that's not what it was meant for. It was meant for us to escape, have a good time, and escape the atrocities, the drug-infested areas that we grew up in, the rubble of the burnt-down buildings that we grew up in. It was made for us to have a good time, to celebrate, to enjoy, to be able to party, and just for a couple of hours, just to forget the, the troubles that we had on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And so I am so proud of Melissa. I am so proud of Paul. I am so proud of all of the executive board members of Windows of Hip Hop. And I'm even prouder of the fact that Theodore and, and, and Mel and Kaz, and we have the Spoonie G here with us here today, a one for the trouble, two for the five. And, 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 and through it all, Joe Conzo. Joe. Joe, who who is the, probably the only person who was able to chronologically uh, 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 show the world all of the different block parties. I, I, I'm from the Samu section. I remember um, uh, not only Zulu Nation and BAM, but also uh, uh, we had it in uh, from King Bronx, Mario. Disco King Mario, exactly. Disco King Mario out of you know Bronx Hill houses, which I grew I grew up right a block away from that. So if this means the world to me to be here tonight, to be able to co-sponsor this, and I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of all of you for keeping the true essence and the elements of hip hop alive. Thank you all, and God bless. All right, the Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. and Windows of Hip Hop presents the 2016 Element Awards. Let's get to the honorees right now.
nation. Today, Africa Bambada is the ambassador of peace, spreading the hip-hop culture all over the world and living the mantra of peace, unity, love, and also as love. anything about my family background, my grandmother, the late Dr. Evelina Antonetti, was a true advocate for the Bronx. And the, the, she always said, it is, it is our duty to document our culture, okay? So I was fortunate enough to go to school with some of these fine gentlemen up here, Easy AD and Tony Tone, and they invited me to take pictures of this group that they were getting down with, the Cold Crush Brothers, Kaz, JDL, KG. And through them, I got to meet Melly Mel, Grand Wizard Theodore, Spoonie G, Little Rodney C, the other pioneers in the audience. And I'm so grateful that, not knowing that these images that I took of the birth of hip hop would bring me around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you, I've been to Bulgaria, okay? Hip hop was alive and kicking in Bulgaria. Hip hop was alive and kicking in Korea, Japan, London, Berlin, Amsterdam, you name it. And this kid from the South Bronx who walked around with a camera has traveled the world. And I'm fortunate that I still walk around with a camera. I'm fortunate that I work for the New York City Fire Department. And I'm fortunate to have Ruben as a borough president who does so much for this borough. And I'm fortunate for Melissa for keeping the culture and, and the ideology of, of of education alive, what my grandmother gave her life to, and I'm fortunate enough to, to my mother, who saved my negatives along with AD when I was dealing with personal demons, to my wife Samantha, who put up with my caca for the last 17 years, me, and to everyone up here who I consider a brother and a sister that continues to allow me to document them because everybody up here is still performing, still traveling, and still promoting the culture of hip hop. Thank you. Oh, good evening, everyone. My name is Easy AD. I'm a member of the legendary Cold Curse Brothers. Um, as you see, um, hip hop is embedded in our soul. I'm, I'm representing our DJ, DJ Tony Schoen, who couldn't be here tonight because he uh, obviously shoveled too much snow when he was sick, so he didn't recover as of yet. But um, I know Tony told me to say this hip hop is something. Uh, that you can't taste, you can't touch, you can't feel, but you can only experience. So thank you very much for on behalf of DJ Tony Tony. Thank you. <laughs> uh, good evening, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. I personally would like to thank Melissa, um, the Windows of Hip Hop family, um, and our borough president, Ruben Diaz, Jr., uh, they asked me how I feel about getting this award or whatever. This is not the first award I've gotten or any of us pretty much up here on the, on the dais. Um, awards are cool. They are acknowledgments for, uh, for things that you do. A lot of us are in the light, so to speak. So the attention is put on us a lot of times and we're the ones who have to answer the questions and get put in front of the cameras but we don't represent hip hop by ourselves. Uh, the, the, the people who put this culture together a number way more than the people you see up on the stage. So I accept this award on behalf of Windows of Hip Hop. Um, 
my fellow board members, and my fellow brothers and sisters in hip hop, who you don't see in front of the uh, cameras all the time, who you don't see on TV, who you don't see getting interviewed, but they have uh, made just as big a contribution as we have and continue to. So I accept this award on behalf of all my brothers and sisters in hip hop and everybody that represents the Biggie Now Bronx. Thank you. I'd like to thank Windows of Hip Hop. I'd also like to thank the greatest borough president the Bronx has ever had, the one and only Ruben Diaz. Future mayor of New York City, Ruben Diaz. I'd like to give a big shout out uh, to my daughter who's here and my granddaughter, Latia and Melody. And uh, I'd like to thank the man upstairs for making it snow. So. All our gigs got canceled so we could be here today. <laughs> and it worked out great, so we like we have to be very thankful. I'd like to uh, say something that Cool Herc said a long time ago. Hip hop is like a dream. Like the dream of Martin Luther King. Where little black boys and little black girls and little Hispanic boys and little Hispanic girls and little white boys and little white girls could say rhymes together sing songs together, and dance together, create together. And that's what made us free. Big shout out to the one and only Cool Herc. Yep. This all started over 30 years ago from nothing, but it was built now into a multi-billion dollar industry. And uh, it seems like nowadays the mainstream media kind of forgot what real hip-hop meant and kind of forgot who we are. But see, the most important thing is this. We didn't forget who we are and what we meant. That's right. And that's why we continue on doing what we do. And the main thing that's so special about what we did, one of the main things that I'm so proud of, is that you have a lot of these boroughs and they give their bro a nickname and money making Manhattan and Crooklyn and money earning Mount Vernon, the Yay area, Chirac. But see, no matter what fake blood or crip that would ever walk through the streets of the Bronx, they can't take what we laid down from the beginning. The Bronx is always going to be known as the Boogie Down Bronx. Right. The Boogie Down Bronx. Long live hip hop. That's right. I'd like to thank everybody here today that watch us receive our Element Awards. And I would like to say hip hop is never going to die, it's just going to be stronger and stronger. All right. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Good night. Got my, got my fiance here. Love you. Officer Cryan. And got my brothers and sisters here on the stage. I want to thank uh, Windows of Hip Hop. And I want to thank the, uh, the mayor. I mean, the, uh, the borough the president. I want to thank my mother. You know, she was a, a single parent, you know, with, 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 with five boys and two girls. And um, she ruled the house with an iron fork. <laughs> she had one of those big... She, she, she had one of those big forks and big knives on the, on the, on the, on the wall. And when we was bad, they came off the wall. She played music when she was happy. She played music when she was sad. She played music when she was cooking. She played music when she was about to whip some butts. You know? But in the end, I want to thank her for raising me into the person who I am today. Please, we'd like to thank God, first of all. And we'd like to thank Bronx Grove President Ruben Diaz yep. and Melissa and the whole Windows of Hip Hop crew. Uh, for me, personally, it's been such an honor. I mean, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be on stage with uh, legends and pioneers um, from where I grew up. And, uh, and my handsome husband, that there was a there was a popper, a legendary popper in New York City waiting for me to marry one day. <laughs> and uh, it's such it's such a <laughs> it's, it's 
such a blessing to uh, be able to throw park jams with him and all of our beautiful friends and have the her her forever host Grandmaster Kaz with us. And, uh, I hope everybody can make it to one of our jams, look up Tools of War, True School, NYC Summer Park Jams. And uh, I, I think it's important for us to thank personally our main sponsor, Rain, but also friends at Cretona Park who we uh, teamed up with from the beginning. So thank you. Thank you. If hip-hop isn't about change and revolution and evolution and education and edification, count me out. Watch me slam dancing in the pit. I'm into punk rock too. You feel me? Let's go and let's build this world. So on behalf of DJ Africa Bambala, Universal Zulu Nation, we will also like to thank the members of hip-hop, our orange president, future mayor, Ruben Diaz Jr. Yes. Uh, Salsa Caterers for hosting. Yes. Thank you very much. I first of all want to thank Salsa Caterers for extending your hospitality to us. We certainly appreciate the shindig that you put together. And <laughs> always, always awesome to be welcomed in the Bronx by uh, one of the proprietors of a great, excellent restaurant. Did you guys enjoy the food? I know I did. Did you guys enjoy the food? It was great. Thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you very much. Without you all, this would not happen. Uh, Kanai, uh, Bronx Brewery, of course, Beso Lounge, and everyone else who contributed and came out. We thank you so very much. I want to thank the Windows of Hip Hop team. I don't know if everyone knows them, but of course, the CEO, Melissa Lee Brand, yes. for having the vision and the dream that we move this forward. Um, well, let's go. Gino Pacheco, one of our strongest funders and our uh, chief of marketing. I'd like to also thank the other members of our team, uh, namely uh, Nicole Perino, couldn't make here, she's our publicist. Nicole and Pope Jackson, thank you so much for the sacrifice and put the baby down. We certainly appreciate you all. Uh, my daughter, Ilana, she's around here running around, but she does a lot of the production work, runs the camera, so it's a labor of love and a family thing, of course. And I want to also thank uh, Walter, Kareem, Chief 69, and lastly before I go, I want to thank Nilka and all the people that give and all the sacrifices you make to get our word out to the public. Absolutely. 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 Um, we are seeking to build on our successes in 2016 and utilize the talents to further our mission. And we are hopeful that with all your help and spreading the word that you can do, that we can achieve the goals that we set forth for 2016. Oh, 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 oh.